Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao. We're doing some Wario Grid, and this is the start of a bit of a WarioWare marathon we're gonna be putting ourselves through. If you don't know what I mean, I mentioned this at the end of the today's cave story video. Right, we are in the realm of uh, Nine Vault, and we're gonna be doing Nine Vault things today and tomorrow, and for a few days. Well, we're gonna end. We're gonna end Nine Vault tomorrow, probably. I don't know. Got six games to do, and they're the sixth game based on classic Nintendo properties. What a concept! Game Boy, twenty points. Check it out! The original Game Boy! Remember how to insert the game packs? Well, you press the A button. 9.99. Portable game system with liquid crystal display. Unbelievable. Bam, 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 bam. Right, I remember this. Yeah, you put it in. It shows Nintendo, and I gotta do that 20 times, assuming I don't mess it up. Well, there you go. All right, we don't see what game it is. It's just it's just a little Nintendo little startup screen. Oh, I see. The difference is that for some reason the clown trying to put his cartridge in uh, is doing it from further and further distance, and that's what makes it harder. But the Game Boy cartridge kind of slides in, so I don't know. It's not that bad. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me. But I feel like putting it closer makes it harder to me. Because I'm like, oh no, is it aligned? I don't know, man. I feel like if I feel like medium is like the uh absolute best distance to be putting this together. Maybe it's me, maybe I am incorrect. Oh, okay, so there is a let. But like let's not exaggerate here. You know, sometimes uh, you know, the carp is just gonna bounce on the edge with a funny little, like, rubber hose sound. Like, brrrm, like you just hit a tire with, like, well, let's see, like, that kind of, yeah, thank you for a demonstration. Whoa, it just fell off! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's getting to me. Can I do it? I cannot do it. Okay. I'd see. I predicted I would fail. Wow, okay, no, huh. Really? That does not count. Man, okay. Okay, and then I just immediately lose after having it. I mean, that's fine. That was kind of hard. I don't like it's a big object you're moving and trying to fit into, you know, a slot that is basically the exact same size as the object. It's it's a, it's not an easy ask. Super Mario Bros, which stands for brother, 15 points. The Goombas need a good old squashing. Wow, violent. You know the drill, Colin. Land on their heads, not their sides. Move and jump on the NES. Well, you're not giving the Famicom. You're saying, you know, it started on the Famicom, you know. You're allowed to acknowledge the Famicom, especially in this in, in this mode. Well, wow, I landed on its side. That was bad. I expected more of a bounce. Um... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna restart, by the way, because that's sad. So, here's what's happening. I'm used to playing good Mario games, where, you know, you have a bit more of a bounce to it. Can you, like... Okay, I need to, like, 
Do you need to just jump each individually, or is there a way to chain them? Because that seems, like, kinda wild. I guess you need to just do it one at a time. Like, I feel like you... There's a bit of a bounce, though. Okay, you can chain. Whoa, that Goomba turned around, that's illegal. Okay, so... This is not official Mario. There is some shenanigans going on. That Goomba made an illegal behavior. Okay, okay. So you can move from one and the other. It's like you don't like jump nearly as high, but you can do that. Okay, it feels bad. But like, I don't mean that as the game did it badly. I just mean it feels like Mario 1. I don't like Mario 1. I mean, I like what it does and I understand the importance of what it has accomplished and what it has enabled. But wow, do I do not like how Mario 1 feels anymore. It was fine when I was a small child and I didn't know any better. I mean, I replayed Mario 1 in its entirety once some years ago. It's been a little bit by now. And then, I mean, like, the physics of Mario 1 are ingrained into me. I get them, I can play the game. Oops, well, doesn't matter. Cause I won, I got my 15. Uh, I can't believe the game just, you know, Nintendo itself promoting the absolute destruction of this one sort of like species of something. Goombas are like acorn sometimes or mushroom. They're very squishy. See, the reason why I feel like calling them mushroom makes more sense is that you can squish a mushroom. Mushrooms are inherently squishy things. Less so acorn. Like, acorns are made to be solid. That's why, like, things that eat acorns have powerful teeth in order to be able to saw through the hard shell. This is getting easier over time because I feel like I need to move less to be able to do a chain. Mind you, whoa, that's... I physically was not able to get to the second one. Like, what? How do I... Uh, uh, I guess because I was holding back too much at the start, maybe? Maybe, I guess, you know, just buy your land. See, I need to be moving more forward, but it's just wild because, like, I, I don't know. Oh, I didn't land on the guy. The world ended, I was right above his head. As it happens, I don't know why. Alright, let's try and try really hard not to shoot cops. Hogan's Alley, 15 point. Ah, uh, such a classic. Shoot before you get shot, idiot. You didn't say that, I added that. But only shoot the bad guys. Well, no, that's not true. Uh, move target and shoot the year 1985 on the NES and the Zapper. Yeah, it's like, whoa, whoa, check it out. That's the bad guy, I guess. I don't know. Was that a bad guy? He just kind of looked like a guy to me. See, there's a bad guy right next to it, though. But I bet if I shot him, like, the game would have punished me. Oh, and level two, all of them are bad guys. But you have to kind of pick and choose. Got it. Whoa, check it out. Oh, and it's the same little NES graphic they use for Duck Hunt. For, like, for, like the gun. I almost did it. <laughs> I, I almost did it. Oops. I- look, man, I can't help it! Society has set expectations here and there regarding character design, and I have to force my- No! I thought I moved more, but I guess I didn't move enough. Like, like, I- 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 it didn't take my second tap of, of the arrow to move my NES zapper accessories towards the flippy thing. I think I just won at this point. Yeah, I did. Uh, all right. Not every game are the same. Why does it just say 1-1 one, one out there? Like, what does that mean? Now it just says, but like, it doesn't move? I guess because it doesn't physically have time to move. Uh, all these are, oh, shoot. I mean, you can't just, you can't just put all three together like that. You're gonna confuse me, you know? It's gonna cause a state of confusion. And I'm gonna be... It's just... I... I... When they're one and three... When they're one and three, like, it's really hard. Like, there is... It's not pure timing. Because you actually... Like, I'm kidding, but also I'm not. Like, you do have to... 
decode visual imagery. You have to analyze before moving. And yeah, and I feel like I clearly uh, did not have enough time for that. Sheriff! I played that in this game. 15 points. The out of bad guys and avoid their crossfire. How's this for memory lane? Most people play this game no share from Smash, you know, 1979. Arcade game. Unbelievable. Ba -ba. Shoot one. You did it. <laughs> okay, so it's you are literally playing Sheriff. Okay. I I forgot that. Alright. Uh, uh. Alright, that kind of works. No oh, yeah! Wait, wow, I shot two! I I saw like, I shot two- didn't I- did I miss one and I didn't notice? Well, there I only need to shoot one, luckily. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, my bullets are not physically going fast enough. Alright. Alright, you know what, that's fine. But, 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 I, but I need to get better, though, if I want to actually pass this. If we go again, alright, I need to shoot my two. Okay, I shot two, I did it. Once again, just, yeah, just talking about shooting people here. Right here, like, in the public square. If I shoot another one, will the game penalize me? Because I shot more than two. I didn't do as instructed, you know? Flaunting the rules! Ah, uh, see, there are shot three, and the game's okay with it, so fair enough. That'd be pretty funny. Would they do that? With, oh, shoot. No, I missed there. I, I need to nail it here. Oh. I did not nail it there, because my bullets don't go fast enough. How do you remove your diagonal? Like, I shoot in diagonal, and then I'm just stuck in diagonal. Um... Like, is that gonna work out better for me to do that? Maybe. So yeah, a lot of my losses was like, I... Is that like I would I would I, I shoot on diagonal because that's where I thought like the closest target is, but I would struggle to on diagonal to then just shoot to the side normally. But maybe changing to a completely different direction is gonna make it easier to do. I'm feeling like that is what I am experiencing right now. It's still not perfect, but. Also, yeah, like... Ugh, by, by desperately trying to do diagonals, I'd end up, like, way at the bottom, like, bottom left, where it's getting me closer to, like, all the people. This gives, still gives me a distance, so that if one of them happens to shoot, I'm not just immediately dead. But still not uh, the easiest pie in the book. Okay, I won. Alright, guaranteed win this time. Ugh. Oh, whoa, jeez. Well, I almost got a shot, but I won, though. So it's all good. No, yeah, it's just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? It's fine. It's okay. Didn't expect that one to be hard, but yeah, it's just... I, I get jammed, you know? I'm like, oh, but I want to go to a place. But game, yeah, but what if we kept going to the same place? And I'm like, oh, no. Everyone disagrees. Everyone's in shamble. Helmet! 15 points. Make it through with this 8-bit masterpiece without getting hit by the tools. Oh, I'm just insulting people here. 981 on the Game & Watch. Alright, I remember struggling with this one, like, while playing the real game. Like, uh, I just could not understand the timing. But it turns out you just kind of go. <laughs> like, I don't know how it's gonna be at a higher speed, but... Yeah, like, clearly here, I am being rewarded for just... Okay, you do have to be tapping, though. So, just tap to the side. Tap to the side. I'm gonna change my grip so I can just smash uh, right here. And I'm going to say that even if this is not a perfect method to get there, it's gonna be fine to get me my 15 points. <laughs> Let's just go! Someone's just throwing all these tools outside and you gotta go to the shed for protection because wow like I don't care if you're wearing a helmet. I still think you'd, I'd rather not have like a lead bucket or something like land right on it That's that's gonna ring. 
it's gonna ring what's inside your cranium, and it's not gonna be a good time. But yeah, I remember this game. Wow. Let's see, that was just so weird and sudden. I hate it. But I already won. So, <laughs> I'm correct. My assumption was rewarded. Just go. Just go. Just run. You see, you know what? It's fine, though, because you got enough points, so... Suddenly I become a lot less mindful. Wow, there's one thing in the sky <laughs> Right there or when you get hit does everything else despawn Because I mean that'd be funny if there was just like the one thing though, but like you're there's always more than one object floating in the air But yeah, so I'm just holding at my controller. So my right thumb is the one mashing on uh, on right on the arrow it's very easy to do, no timing, just go, we gotta be okay. Last game, it's Wild Gunman, 15 points. I love this game, says Nintendo sponsor, prove who's the fastest draw in the West. Draw, but not draw though, the zapper. Alright, well, here we go, so just, oh, well you just said draw, alright, I'm gonna. I forgot. I mean, that makes sense. That's what the lone gun- wild gunman is. Yeah, so you gotta wait for the guy himself to say, draw. Oh no, he says fire, and then he doesn't fire? It's really weird. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And yeah, like, the more you go, the faster they react to themselves saying fire. Which, again... This is kind of absurd. How is this gonna work with speeding up? Whoops. Like, I feel like at some point, you say foul, but also you're dead? Like, I feel like at some point, like, there's just gonna not be any time that physically exists. Or maybe that's their ranking up there that's changing, because, yeah, he did not start at 0.5. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, you didn't start at 0.3. Okay, so the game, like, actually, dynamically adjusts us. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so you cannot match. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> I might probably just gonna lose there. Because, yeah, 04 seems to be like my... Whoa! Frame perfect! Giving me the one. Yeah, but 0.2. Like, 0.2, you cannot react to that. You have to... Uh, guess. Well, not guess, but, you know, predict is more like it. Predicting and guessing isn't the same. But yeah, it's like, you're like, eh. Okay, that was too quick. I was using, like, at the end point there, like, I wasn't waiting for him to say something. I was listening to the music. Like, it goes, and it's as soon as it, he says, he says, draw, and that's when you can go. But I went to Fasadia, then I gave a foul. So I didn't lose because I died. I lost because I killed in an unfair way and a gentleman's sport of shooting each other in the face in the middle of the desert. Man, the past was stupid. <laughs> so yeah, uh, next time we're going on and ride back because uh, this was a night cave story. You know, I just finished that and so that's going to come at a cave story time tomorrow. And then, and then the next following days too, up until we get to the at then. So here we go, a bit of a mini marathon for WarioWare. It's like a, it's like a grid for a WarioWare grids. That doesn't make any sense, but it is what I said. 